This is a video on why I made the vow never to return to France again. I can't even do the So, funny story that's not so funny. We were going to leave to get the coach and the line we needed to take back to the coach station had stopped running that, this tonight and we had 45 minutes to get to the coach station with no trains. When we were going from subway station to subway station trying to find any lines that were still open, a, I assume to be tipsy, English-speaking, one-legged Frenchman with a cane, not a cane, it was an actual crutch, with a crutch, says, are you guys lost? Oh yeah, I don't suppose you can help us actually, we're trying to get to Barcy. Ah, oh, no, there are no trains that go that way anymore. What about walking it? Can we walk it from here? And uh, one-legged English-speaking French guy says to me, Well, it might take you 15 minutes to walk from here, but I wouldn't know. And I just start laughing. <laughs> Like, I thought maybe he was making a joke about it, or something, because he kind of looks at me, so well, I wouldn't know about walking. And I look at him, and I giggle, and then I think he's being serious, so I'm like, right, okay, well thank you for so much for your help. What am I supposed to say? What am I supposed to say? I've just asked for walking directions from a one-legged man. So anyway, he jumps the barrier. Okay, let me explain how he does that. <laughs> so he sits up on the ticket barrier, scooches over and then gets off and continues going to his train, his, the last train of the day, the night. It's like 2 a.m. now, 3 a.m. I don't know what time it is. We didn't have any time to record this stuff, by the way, obviously. So I'm using my map-like brain and thinking, right, recognize this, recognize that, going this way. If there's one talent that I actually have, it's map reading, okay? I'm pretty good at not getting lost. We wanted to get to Bercy. 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 I can't say it right. My terrible English accent. And as we got as close as we could before the trains stopped. We asked a taxi driver to take us to Bercy. He took us to a place called Gare de Bercy. And... Wrong station! <laughs> uh... So, we travelled by foot as far as we possibly could to the coach station, found it. We were an hour late for our, for our coach, looked around for another coach. There's no other coaches until the morning. We are now stuck in Belsi. 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 At night. There's no lighting here, which is beautiful, brilliant. When a coach came in and stopped, it was a coach that had free Wi-Fi, so we ran over to it. Nick some Wi-Fi, tried to find out when the next boat was, when the next coach was, try and make some ends meet, see what the prices are, see if we have the money for it. That didn't work. Look at Eurostar. How much to get to the Euro Tunnel in, uh, in Folkestone or Ashford? No progress. Fuck the expensive, that's how much it is. So now we're on our way to a hotel to actually talk to a human being that will probably know English. I assume there'll be someone that knows English at a hotel. What have we learned today, Kana? Huh? What have we learned? Est ce que tu parles l'anglais? Ah, that has been the saviour of this trip so far. Well, maybe not the saviour, the helper. Nothing saved anything at the moment because we like missed it. All right, let's see if we can find a hotel and dodge the drunks. There are some horrible drunks. We found a nice, small little park where we decided to sit until the morning. However, this wasn't going to work because it was extremely cold and the drunks weren't the nicest drunks that you'll ever meet. So, we need to find somewhere else to go. It's 2.40am and we found our way eventually all the way back to the same hotel. So we're here again. First thing in the morning, 
well, in a few hours, maybe three hours, we'll leave. See if we can catch a Eurostar or a train back to England. It's expensive, but it's going to be the fastest way back because from Paris to Dover, it's just, it's going to be too expensive and long. So we'll see what we can do. From Paris to Ashford, I sat on this bus for eight hours. The driver decided to stop at every service stop, making us an extra two hours late in the end, for cigarette breaks. On the seat in front of me was a kid that decided to bang his head repeatedly on the window the entire journey. The guy that was sitting here, I don't know what you would say for that, next to me one in front, was constantly taunting the kid sitting behind me, which was then crying almost the entire journey. And he was French. So when he turned round and I turned him to say, mate, f yeah, he didn't understand me. That rage was building. Can't shout at the French man because he doesn't understand me. Can't shout at the kid in front of me because I'm pretty sure that it's disabled because it's just banging its head constantly. Can't shout at the kid behind me because it's not its fault that it's screaming and crying because it's getting taunted by a French guy. And then the French guy that was sitting across from me decided to come over to my seat to try and use the charger port. He taps on my shoulder. I look up at him. He waves his charger port in my face. Points to the charger port. I've taken out my earphones and start to stand up. My face turns, right? Girlfriend sitting beside me hits me and tells me to help him. All of that frustration, all of that anger that I was building up on this Hi, journey as I turn to look at her and she takes the charger port and puts it in for him. Oh my God, I'm so angry and I burst. I start shouting at everybody on the bus about how, oh my god, can we speed up? What is actually taking so long? Blah, 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 me being a dickhead. It was not fun. Not at all. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> and that, my friends, is the story on how I vowed never to go to France again. And there's a hole in my shirt. If you like this video, I'll throw up some more. If you like this video, I'll throw some more up that are similar to this sort of thing. I'll link some slightly shorter ones so you can watch them if you want. Um, they're fun, I suppose.